Hi, hi, hi. What are you guys doing? Hmm. Me? Having fun. Because when I make high petufas, as me, relaxing. It's like when people sit down and read a book, me making high petufas is having fun. Why? Because I like my flowers and I like um, them to get be beautiful pots. So I usually use two, three pairs of gloves. Okay? The easy way to use your gloves is baby powder. Okay? Why? Because I don't like the big uh, yellow gloves. They're kind of like, I don't feel the pot, I don't feel anything. I like to feel everything, what I'm working with. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and put two pairs. I'm not gonna be wasting only two pairs. So there you go. See how easy it is, okay? There you go. So what you need, what we're doing today, believe it or not, we're making a high petufa over here. You see this flat over here? Somebody brought all kinds of pots of uh, metal baskets without liners or anything. So I said, hmm. And that's how I, that's how I started making her petufas years ago in a wire basket. Very simple, very simple. The formula for the high petufa is exactly the formula I used for the first high petufas with the color. The high petufa is high petufa and my formula almost always gonna be the same. So what you need, you need a spray bottle. You don't need this, okay? Please don't use this for these high petufas because they're not gonna stick to anything. You powder is to put your gloves, you don't need it. You need tape, any type of tape. You need a knife, scissors, and something to uh, measure the, the size of the high petufa. For example, inch and a half to two inches thick. So I stick the screwdriver and that tell me how deep it is. Oh, the most important thing, the mask. The mask st stop me from breathing and newspapers, any type of newspapers. And of course we need a uh, part. I'm gonna use this for a part. I don't like to use cores or anything like that. So you can use this for a part. You can use this for a part. In this case, we're gonna use this, okay? So uh, first of all, we have three parts, PMAS, okay? We have three parts per light, three, okay, three, three. And now we need two parts cement. But before we use our cement, uh, what we need to do is uh, mix these two together very well. So let's mix them up very well. But let's guess what? I forgot my mask. They're going to kill Maria. Maria, what's wrong with you? Are you crazy? You need your mask. And I'm going to say, I'm sorry, I forgot, but I hear it now. So you need your mask, mix this very well, and you pee mask, I already did it, but you pee mask, you look for balls and you break them, very good, okay? I already did that before I uh, start video, video. Don't leave any type of little balls in the pee mask. Break them nice like this, okay? And I'm not talking about the perla, I'm talking about the pee mask that sometimes has little things like this. Like this one over here, just break it, okay? So we miss, premise this first, very well. Very well, the better you mix everything, the easier the formula comes for you, hypotubas, when you make it, and they have longer. And again, I didn't copy this from anybody. I never see this hypotuba in the internet or anything. I just had so many ba wire baskets like fruit baskets, wire baskets, and nobody's buying them, and I'm thinking, my God, what do I do with them? I wanna put a plant in there, but how? So I, I put a uh, mask in there. I tried many things, but they don't hold too good, the mask, the newspapers and everything. So I said, hey, how about if I try to put a hepatufa in there? And then I question myself, but how I'm gonna put a hepatufa with all these holes. So I start thinking and thinking, and then I come up with the idea. Okay? I already got my two parts, my two parts in here. There are two parts, okay? I already size them. 
So this is my two parts, Portland cement. Why Portland cement? Because I choose to use Portland cement. Why? Because the high petufas become beautiful, very, very white. So this is my two parts. Okay, I'm gonna put this in my water. And of course I need this. So now we're gonna mix all this together. Very good, like this. Try not to make a lot of dust. It's better for you, you know, and for the people, the person that is taping the video. Huh. He might smack it down. I try to be um, considered with other people, so not to make a lot of dust. Okay, and this has to be mixed very well before you put water. Okay, like this. You see any? And by the way, the um, this Portland cement is the best. Of the best. My goodness, I have bags that I have for years in my storage. My husband keeps saying, it's not good anymore. You're gonna have to throw it out. I said, don't worry about it, I take care of that. I'm not gonna throw it out. If I have to break it with a hammer, I will. Well, guess what? I open the box and everything is okay. Nice and smooth like a baby powder. So I'm very pleased with the Portland cement. I said, my goodness, if I had to throw $200 with um, Portland cement, my husband's gonna kill me. Well, you know how husbands are. They're very sweet and nice. But anyway, uh, this is it. It's been there for a couple years and it's still good. Like this, you see little, uh, little things like this, there's nothing, look at that. It's little things, but it's not like, it's hard like a rock. Like I'm gonna have to have something to break and look at that. Look how easy the break. See that? It's gone. So anyway, I think this is mixed good enough. See now we're gonna put our water. Okay? Now we're gonna put our water. And we're gonna use the same thing. Pars. This part is about two and a quarter or two. Okay, no more than that for hypertufas. So there is one. I also put it around. Okay, and I, now this is gonna put with the other one in the center. Two. And I'm gonna have this water ready, like in a quarter here. Like that. I don't know if I'm gonna need it or not, but it's about right. So this is it. Okay. And like I said, I'm enjoying doing this, relaxing. I buy, uh, my husband buy a mixer and I had to stick it back. Didn't work because the formula is too thick. That's why. I try and try and I was very disappointed because I said, my goodness, if I can use a mixer, you know, how easy this will be. And it's telling me uh, mixing it by hand. But not for the five tools. Okay, how do you know if you, you mix it ready? It's very simple. Like you're looking at it right now, you don't have no idea. But I'm gonna show you. How do you know it's mixed ready? I don't think so. You make a ball like this, it breaks in the good. So this baby needs more water. Like I said, it's like about two and a quarter. I told my friend in Alabama, Mobile, he, he's coming over to visit this week. He's one of my viewers and he's coming to visit. Then I tell him, you have any wire baskets, fruit wire baskets, anything, 
bring him over because I'm gonna make you some high petufas. He goes, yeah, I got like 16. I said, no, I don't mean that many. <laughs> so anyway, when the um, mix is like this, it's safe to take your mask off because it's easy to breathe and everything, okay? So, there's no more dust. Let's see. No, I need more water. Oh, you're gonna have to put the whole water. Maybe a little more. Like I said, two and a half, two and a quarter. No more than that. Almost there. well because that's a good uh, good dry high petufa will last forever don't mix it halfway do a good job and you have two that last than 10 years or 15 years okay now let's try make a bowl this is uh, this is ready you see that this is ready it's ready so what we do next we're gonna use the newspapers. Get um, a layer of newspapers like this. Okay. Put them very, very thick in, in close. Otherwise, you're gonna have problems. Okay, because this happened to me. You even can put two, two pages at a time. Okay, it's two in there. So you go like this. You have to do this because if you don't do this, the, the hepatoph is gonna go out in the sides of the wire. So this is set. Okay. Just like that. Okay. So you put your paper all around. I have one ready. <laughs> this, this is how you want it. This is exactly like this. You see that? A lot of paper around everything. You don't use anything, just leave it dry like this. And what you do next is start building your hepatufa. We're gonna build the bottom first. Okay? No oil, nothing. It's a big basket, it's gonna be beautiful. So, if you have some baskets over there, this is what you're gonna do. And they're beautiful. I like to use this because this, and I stay using my hands, does a good job because it's flat. And this is sad. So now it's time to see how deep it is. Perfect, you see that? One and a half inch. So now it's time to start building the, the the um, size. So to build the size, like this, get a mold, just like that, just like that. You see, you put your hand outside on the outside and support a little bit. It's not going anywhere though. This works very well. Just like this. Okay. Just like this. And this more in here. Now I'm gonna go higher. Just over here. Over here. You see where you need to put more. And it's so beautiful when it's done because the newspaper is gone and you see the happy tufa inside the wire basket. Okay. I didn't copy, okay? You can look in the internet, you're not gonna find this. You might find, I don't know what, but not like this. Hyper tooth in a wire basket. Okay? 
So now we're gonna put a little more on top because we want a beautiful hypertuba. You see how nice and, and hard this is formula is? That's how you want it. And I use this um, uh, what, uh, this um, glass table because the hypertuba rotates around very easy and I can save a lot of my concrete that fell down. See that? Let's get him there. So now, see that? So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take all these upsets that I dropped there by accident. That way my happy tooth doesn't get too thick in the bottle and I have a lot of room for my, so what I usually use this. I put it in my glass, I put it in here. I put it in here because we're gonna use this for the uh, so you put your hand outside and you squeeze and squeeze and squeeze hard as you can don't roll and squeeze and squeeze and your hand is always as hard as a pony just like that just like that just like that squeeze like this almost there just like that okay now we go I know I'm sweating but I always sweat don't put the camera in me Lucas Lucas be nice I'm sweating like big piggy see this is set so now we get um we get ourselves a little bit of water to put in our hands to work with us. See that? Here a little chunk amount, so we put it back. Uh-huh. Like that. Okay, so now you go like this and then tap with your hands once in a while. Go slowly. And the same time you do this, push down. Push down to compact the hypertrophy. Okay. This, some of this can come out. You don't need it anymore. and come out and then you're gonna have a beautiful hypertufa and then I gotta pin my messes with that <laughs> see so now let me get it closer to me okay because I like to make this side this end nice much as I can you use your finger to press down to make sure it's nice and compact you know I'm sorry about the mess, but you make a mess when you're working with a uh, concrete. You make a mess. Most done like this. And then you can go like this. Make it nice. If you see anything that you think you can need, need to put more, you squeeze it there. Make it nice, take your time. Almost like work, working with the concrete. I don't know why, but I do. I like to learn different mixes. I like to learn use it different ways. Okay. So now, remember, we also use the PVC, the PVC, to um to make the hole. That way you have a hole. Okay. So then. There is your kind of tufa and a mask, okay? You see this? This is it. You see anything coming out? Just push it in, patch it nice. Everything is good. So now what we gotta do, we gotta make the hole. So you have a hole in the center. Push and squeeze, and there you have your hole. So what we do now, 
We just suspect everywhere. These bunches over here is okay, it's kind of cute. You see this? And this over here? That's how you make the statement about the hepatoma. So these are ready to put in a bag until tomorrow. So what you do, you get a bag like this. This is adorable. Bag. And just put it in. not gonna think it's big. Oh my goodness. It's a big one anyway. You put it in a bag until tomorrow. Put it in there. Like this. Okay, just like this. And you save it until tomorrow. This ready? Okay? Oh my goodness, look at this mess. Maria the Messi. Man, but you know you're working, so I'm gonna show you something. And we'll be done. I'm gonna show the finest product, how they look. Okay, this is one of my hepatophas that I did. Okay? In the wire. One more, okay. This one more. This was a uh, salad bowl. It's all done. And this was a fruit bowl, I believe. This is it. See that? So I make these ones yesterday. This one's a little crack in there. Or you do is put a little more there, and that's it. You know? And then I'm gonna put them to dry. 30 days this one because I'm making yesterday okay when you get the paper outside all you gotta do is water it water it real good water the outside and the paper comes the following day the following day the paper will come out just by you doing this you see this is how you get the paper out Can you get closer that way they can see the paper? You see all the paper coming out? You see? This is how you get the paper out. For the paper too. This is one from yesterday. This is how you get the paper. You see all the paper over here? The newspapers will come out. And then... After you get all the newspapers out, you put it in the plastic bag for 30 days. Usually I put the day, A, I don't know what's the day today, A, I don't know the day, but you put the day, that way you know when 30 days is up. This is how you get your hypertufas in a basket. And they're cute. I gotta finish taking out the paper, but this is it. Thank you for watching. Until next time, from Maria's Garden in Punta Gorda.